Editor TDS Jolly here. I lost audio. Uh, welcome back to Gads Shin Impact, you guys. The Perilous Trail. Yes. Let's get into this. Let's start this quest. Now where is she? Right, we gotta enter the new domain, since we didn't do that yet. To a new realm of ensnaring illusions. Let's do this. Another secret, perhaps. One where we can't be tricked by, uh... What's this? A weird, wonderful scene. That Whoa, that's pretty cool. Distance. Hold on. Is that the fantastic compass? It's bigger than all our what? heads combined. That's the best description you can come up with? Yeah. It's way, way bigger than that. <sighs> well, it seems our theory checked out. In my humble legal opinion, humble. that's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. But if this really is the fantastic compass, it's so huge. How the heck am I going to lug that back to my office? <clears throat> Use a shrink ray. Come on, Yenfei. Don't give up now. Let's investigate the area first. Yep. Let's do it. <gasps> what? Are they... Are they treasure hoarders? They must be trapped here as well. They look familiar. Oh, yeah. I bumped into these rapscallions a few days ago. Huh? Hi there. My hammer. No. That's kind of sad. Oh, oh that's cute. Oh, it's a hammer. Or a stamp. No, it's a stamp. Fantastic compass. Why is there a small version of the Fantastic Compass stuck in the ground? <laughs> That's cute, it's, it's a, a stamp. I might have to pick her up, she's cute. Her her attacks are so cute. I might need a Spice of Life character. Stay away, I'll stamp you. Motion to compel. Oh god. The lawyer speak is on point. Incinerate. Bonk! <sighs> Easy peasy. Just like last time. <laughs> you know, when I ran into them before, I was working on a big commercial case. The defendant hired them to attack me, just to get back at me. Wow, that's rude. <laughs> Happens all the time. Luckily, I'm well trained in martial arts, so taking them down was a piece of cake. That's not martial arts. But these are the exact same guys as I met last time. Is this space recreating scenes from my memory? Perhaps. Maybe this is one of the ways our adversary intends to devour us. Unbelievable. By making everything we think is real, real. Our reality, more like. Right, that thing. Yeah. Note of unknown origin. Yeah, I don't care about that. Unknown origin, huh? Oh. Oh. I asked Master Boyang if I could borrow pen and paper to write home, but now that I have them, I have no clue what to write. You know what? I hope everyone back home is doing fine. I miss my daughter. Aww. So who's this Bo Yang guy? Ow! Ooh! Gotcha. Gotcha. Nothing over here? Hmm. Oh wait, elemental sight. What we got. Huh. 
that can be Whoa. Uh, is this a tunnel? Uh this is weird. It feels like it's connecting to another world. Or maybe another time. That's a stretch, Paimon. Whoa. Okay. Anything different? No. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. Huh? A new entrance. Great. Where? I guess just here again. Let's go. No, nope, we're in the wrong spot again. I guess. Huh? I thought we might run into some other people here, but apparently not. What's that sound? The Fatui? Whose memory is this? Ah, watch out! <laughs> They're fine. Just as I thought. Kalon, you're here! I will take you down no matter how many times you show up. Huh? Hey, Max, we're together now. Oh. Busted. But that one's ice. Gotcha. Ah. Yeah, she's not the most effective one in the room. It's just not that good when it comes to like elemental stuff. Elemental shields. Yelan. It's kind of sad, really. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Yeah, there's nothing... Like that. You can't really do much here. Yeah. That's... That's very annoying. Oh. Yeah, that's really sad. She can't really do much. And still they dare to come after me. You've still got it. That voice just now. I said I'd seen some illusions myself. Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be reproducing that memory. Now Why? That you know, at least we're all on the same page. He said the word fantastic. Was he talking about the fantastic compass? Might have Yenfei. been. See that thing on the ground? Yeah. yeah. We tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. I guess it's a miniature version of the fantastic compass in the distance. It has a close connection to the entire space. Hmm. It looks somewhat familiar. Let me think. Hmm. Okay, rotate the needles to different points to change time in this area. Jump to different times. Affect the next point in time you jump to. So if you do different things in certain times here, it affects everything else. Oh, there's something here. What is this? Unknown origin letter.
number two. I'm writing this letter. I'm writing this letter on behalf of Hulan. He hopes that his family is also well. If not for this pass, he would have wanted to go back to spend Lantern right with them. Stuck in the trees. Oh, so I can't turn it back that way, but I can turn it back twice. Needle has touched the ground. Fastest it can, farthest it can turn. Gotcha. So we only have two here. So now what here? Oh, we can destroy that little tree so then we can actually go further. Because when we go back to the past... Or, no, the future, technically. Because of the tree. The tree's no longer there. So now we can go further. Right? Aww. Still not a thing. Right, this gate is closed. Or open in the other one. So now it's closed and... I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's try the bottom one here. See if this works. There we go. Another new space. Lovely. If everywhere within this space follows the same rules, there must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Osatius. I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. Zhao. No enemies. Hold on. Wait. Is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no. We should go help him. Stay back. This is my fight. Do not come near me. Okay. The monsters. So many people have died at your hands. I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Hiding and ambushing from the dark is Bosatius's signature tactic. Die here with me. Huh? Ugh. How did a valiant warrior like you die here? Uh oh. This is not going well for Xiao! No matter. I know how this ends. <sighs> Give it up. Look! Osatius is showing signs of fatigue! <sighs> Osatius! Marshal Vritris! Even your strength is finite! <sighs> But your illusion is not as mighty as you. This is not you in all your glory. I wonder what Rex Lapis would think if he saw what had become of the first Yaksha. Leave! I'll deal with the rest. We can't let the monsters get to the surface. Everyone, remember, we must hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. <laughs> That's nothing. Huh? Enough! Phantom! Be gone! Chow, are you okay? I guess he hasn't recovered yet. This is my purpose. Don't worry about me. So your invisible opponent was the legendary Bosatius, Marshal Vitris? Maybe. Yes. So excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. 
This may have been the last time I will ever see him. He was saying something about holding the line at all costs. He fought here. The nameless Yaksha from the legends. It was him. But didn't you say he'd always announce his name? How could his name be lost to time? What happened? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot who he was. Perhaps he did. Because the karma you spoke of drove him to madness? Osatius had already gone mad before he disappeared. There was no way of knowing if his memories were intact. Ah, uh, He still took part okay. in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent of bloody war. <laughs> Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we know. This battle confirmed my suspicions. As we had speculated, this space reflects information from people's minds. In other words, despite going mad, Bosatius came here. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. This space recreated him as he was during the battle. The way he fought was so self-destructive. He couldn't possibly have survived. He fought the monsters. Osatius' illusion said he'd discovered the monsters' weakness and lured them underground. What kind of place could this be? Defeating Conria's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. Huh. Guys, it could just be me, but... I think I'm suddenly feeling more tired than I was. Uh-oh. This space is really starting to affect us. I believe Bosatius stayed here underground. Oh! <gasps> but now he is gone, and only his illusion remains. If we A don't spider. Leave, we may meet the same fate. Time to move on. You fought well, Bosatius. Goodbye. And good luck. You. <coughs> See you. Rude. Okay, go go back to the other one. Then, fine. Okay, what about this one? Let's see. This might be a new one. I think. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Shall we take a look? Yeah. Okay, let's see. We have no idea how long it's been since we came out with our comrades on patrol, but according to the information we've garnered, the beasts have completely lost all mobility. Indeed, most of them have disappeared. We are victorious, and what a grand victory it is. Save that we never... Save... Save that we can never return home again. Mulan's daughter will turn two this year, and Ching Ming, I think, Ching Ming's grand grandmother is getting getting long in the tooth. <laughs> the two of them miss their family sorely, though I myself have no relations. You guys can read the rest. I'm tired of reading yeah hmm. it looks like these were letters written by the millilith soldiers who stayed here so who's this boy young they mentioned <sighs> some kind of supervisor young was one of my ancestors the one who didn't make it back you mean boy young fought alongside bosatius huh i believe cool. so and the millilith soldiers were their brothers in arms I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. Huh, yes. here. Uh, so scary. What happened? Come on, let's not stay here. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots. And then, we'll finally know the truth. Still, who knows how this space is planning on revealing the answer to us. It's an odd way of doing it.
Okay then, we're going to go forward all the way. Keep going. I didn't say stop. There. Yeah. I thought it was gonna keep spinning. I would have been so mad. Now nighttime, here we come. Finally. The moon. I can see the moon. There's nothing here at all. Huh? What a creepy space. It has the feel of the abyss, but mm. where are the opponents? Hmm. Hmm. A memory? Your memory? Of what? Of emptiness. That's the power of the abyss. The abyss? So, this place is created purely based on your memory? That the abyss took my twin away. It's getting darker. Lumine. Lumine, wait. He finally talks. Lumine, come on. What is that thing? Huh? What's that shiny round thing on the ground? Looks like the, the compass. Fantastic compass. In the other spaces, the fantastic compass was always partially buried in the ground. But this one is lying flat, intact. As if somebody left it here. Oh, she was just a figment of your imagination? So, she appeared as an illusion because you miss her so much, huh? I can sense that she's not here. Not really. But at least we found this. Uh... Yenfei, are you sure this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. Yelon? What is it? From the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. Oh? I just need to do this, and... What are you doing? Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. Yay, another puzzle. Safer. Oh, I've been All right. yeeted. Here we'll be fine. Take a moment to catch your breath while I try to unlock the fantastic compass. All right. Within yin and yang, among the five regions, water, fire, wind, and thunder cycle like the seasons. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground. Open wide the three gates. All the worlds within reach. Hmm. Now that I've found the fantastic compass, my work here is done. But if the bosatius we saw was just an illusion, Will we really be able to take anything we find here back to the outside world? Yeah. Hmm. Osatius was the leader of the five Yakshas under Rex Lapis's command. He could control electro energy. Oh. Like me. He was both a formidable warrior and a talented commander. <sighs> yep. Constant reminder that everyone's gone. But let's leave. Well, well. This is not what I was expecting. What? Oh, seems like you've made a new discovery. You guys could go ahead and read that.
Well, I hope you guys got all that. This information was left by a thaumaturge called Boyang, who, as you know, is the missing ancestor that I came here to investigate. Oh? All this information... It was left by your ancestor? Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, were gifted the Fantastic Compass by someone of great importance. They brought this device to the chasm and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. They set out together, but only one of them made it back. Minus his sanity. Great. Karma. <laughs> Correct. One possibility is that when they fought alongside Bosatius, they were tainted by his karma. Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't have been able to resist its effects for very long. Oh, darn. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyang ended up staying here for good, too. <sighs> well, this is just wonderful. So, that's it. There's no way out. What do we do? What do you what mean? So you guys are just gonna give up? Come on now. You need to chill, Paimon. <clears throat> what was that? Huh? <clears throat> I got it! I just had a thought. Give me a second, what? I just need to double check. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What? Traveler, I just realized something. Okay, so on my way here, I was studying the will the whole time. But I didn't give any thought to the book that the will was inside of. I don't know it verbatim, but I have read it before. The gist of the story goes like this. Millennia ago, an Adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. Later, he made good friends with a human and gave the device to him to use as a catalyst. Okay. A later, great demons haunted the mountains. The mortal and the Adeptus joined forces to exorcise them using the same device. And that's not Ooh. all. The book also says this. When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. This contraption is proof that mortals and adepti may coexist, that there is unity between heaven and humanity. Hmm. I have both adepti and human lineage. Maybe my power can work. Maybe. She just put her palm it to worked. it. I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough. But still, we must be on the right track. And look, something seems to have been activated inside the Fantastic Compass. By heaven's might and the gods of the five <gasps> regions, Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand. That's their voices from when they made the seal. Bosatius and my ancestor. They oh. sealed off this space at the top together. So you need to have... Xiao and her together. I see. It makes sense now. Hmm. Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. I have a suggestion to make. Paimon can barely oh, move no. anymore. Oh, why can't we get out of here? Paimon doesn't want to die. Paimon wants to stay with you. But you can stay with me. Forever. Paimon, just hang in there, okay? Trust me, there's still hope. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Well, there's that quest done. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more daily videos, walkthroughs just like this one. Also check out the channel, but more importantly, have a great day you guys. Peace.